Day 7 of the Novena to Our Mother of Perpetual Help. Today we reflect on the loss of the child Jesus and him being found in the temple in Jerusalem. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, there is a sense in which the loss of the child Jesus sounds like a passion narrative. It is the, around the Passover. The child Jesus is lost in Jerusalem. His parents are in deep sorrow searching for him. He is found on the third day. And when they find him on the third day, he is listening to the scriptures and asking questions. Who will not recall the sins around the Passion narrative? When around the Passover, Jesus is crucified and is lost from the sight of many for three days, only to be found later. It is resurrection. And when he is found, he will explain the scriptures and help them to come to an understanding of the scriptures. Mary and Joseph go through their passion, their agony, their sorrow when they have lost their son. And when they find him, Mary says to the child, your father and I have been looking for you. Mary and Joseph have been looking for Jesus. And Jesus answers them, Why were you looking for me? Didn't you know that I was supposed to be in the house of my father? After the passion narrative, Jesus is the son of God. He is the son of the father. And Luke says, Mary and Joseph did not understand what he meant. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, an understanding of Jesus is a lifetime occupation. Even when we have spent time with him, we will not fully understand him. No wonder the document of the Second Vatican Council, Lumen Gensum, in its eighth chapter, speaks of Mary as a pilgrim in faith. And that is what we all are, pilgrims in faith. And being a pilgrim in faith means that we have no certainty, we have no fuller understanding. And yet, even when we do not understand, we make an act of faith. We continue to believe. We are confident in the things of God. And therefore, the loss of the child Jesus points us to Mary, the woman of faith. When she does not understand these things, what has been said by the Son, she ponders them in her heart. She contemplates them. What could this mean? And all of us as Christians, we are invited as pilgrims in faith to ponder on the word of God and the realities 
around them. And so on this day, my dear brothers and sisters, when Mary is presented to us as a woman of faith, we are reminded what faith is. Faith is not understanding. And that faith does not mean that it is something incomprehensible. Something of faith and reason come together. We ought to reason. We ought to reflect. We ought to think. And yet at the same time, we ought to rise our ascent to God so that our faith may come to a better understanding and our faith may be an intelligent faith. And so let us pray to Mary, the woman of faith, that she may continue to intercede for us, especially in those moments when we do not fully understand, when we go through our own passions, that we may continue to believe that Jesus is the Son of God.